Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video, I am going to cover interview questions based on pass through techniques. So let's move on to the first question. Here is the first question. What is PROX SQL pass through? Let's first read the answer, then I will explain. Pass through is SQL facility that is used to communicate with database using native SQL statements without leaving current SAS session. The SQL statements are passed directly into database. SAS has two types of pass through. One is implicit pass through, second is explicit pass through. So in simple language, if you want to communicate with external databases such as Teradata, Oracle, DB2, MySQL, we use pass through facilities. These are two types of pass through facilities used in SAS. One is implicit and second is explicit pass through. Uh, we will discuss these pass through facilities in upcoming questions. So let's move on to the next question. What is implicit pass through? So before reading the answer, I want to give one example. So we have one person who can speak only English language and another person who can speak only Chinese language. How they would communicate with each other? If they want to communicate, they need one translator. So similar way, in SAS, we have SAS statements and external database has their own SQL statements and SAS does not understand external database specific SQL statements and external database does not understand SAS statements. So we need one facility that can breeze between both the SAS and external database and establish the communication. In SAS, this work is done by SAS access engine. Okay, so let's uh, see the answer here. When we use libname statement to access database, it uses SAS access engine to convert SAS statements into database specific SQL statements. This is called implicit pass through. So we can achieve implicit pass through using libname statement. So let's see the example. Here we are trying to connect to Teradata and want to extract data from Teradata. So the statement is libname, then library reference, then type of a database or engine that which we want to connect that is Teradata, then Teradata connection details. So these details are provided by your database administrator, server equal server name, username and password and database, database name. So don't worry about this information. These will be provided by your DBA. Next we have data new order set product.com client order. So product is the library. It's a Teradata type of library and the client order table present in Teradata. So we are reading this table. So what will happen? Our SAS access engine for Teradata will convert these statements into Teradata specific SQL statements and these statements will get executed. So this is called implicit pass through. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next question. What is explicit pass through? Okay, so let's again move to our example that we have given the one person who can speak Chinese language, one person who can speak English language. They need a communicator or translator so that they can communicate. Okay, but what if the person who can speak English can also speak Chinese language? Will they require a translator? No. Why? Because the person who can speak English can also speak Chinese language. So that person will speak Chinese and Chinese person would understand that those statements or instruction and they will communicate. So in explicit pass through, what we do is we write specific database statements in SAS. Okay, so for example, in Teradata SQL statements, we write Teradata SQL statements into SAS PROC SQL so that there is no translator is needed. Let's first read the answer, then I will show the example. When we directly write native SQL statements of a specific database, then it is called explicit pass through. Here SAS access engine does not convert SAS statements into any specific native database query. SQL query is processed by database engine itself. Let's see the example. So in that case, what we are doing here in PROC SQL, first we are trying to connect to Teradata. So we are using connect to Teradata. Then those uh, connection details, these will be provided by database administrator. So we'll specify those information so that we can connect to it. Then we are using create table new order as select star from. So after from in SQL, we generally give table name, but here we are not giving table name. What we are saying, we are saying connection to Teradata. Okay, so whatever in the connection to Teradata statements give us the result of this. So in connection to Teradata after we are using brackets. In this specific bracket part, we will specify 
Tera data SQL statements. This statement is Tera data specific SQL query. So you need to know Tera data query language. Otherwise, you won't be able to write query here. This may be looking similar to our ProxySQL, but this is not ProxySQL. This is Tera data specific SQL query statements. Then we have disconnect from Tera data and quit. So this way we are extracting data from Tera data using explicit pass through. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next question. So the question third is not yet finished. So in explicit pass through, we use select star create table new order as select star. But here this table is created in SAS only. But what if if we want to create table in Tera data? So if we want to create a table in Tera data, then we need to use execute statement in explicit pass through. So execute and then these statements are native Tera data SQL query language statements and then by Tera data. So this is little different to previous one, but here we are creating a table inside the Tera data database. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next question. So write a program to read below Excel file using explicit pass through. OK, so we have a Excel file says average salary and sheet name is salary. So we want to read this using explicit pass through. How would we achieve this? So here is the answer proc SQL connect to Excel. Then we will provide path address of that file. This is saved on desktop. Then select star from connection to Excel and in select star from then we will mention the sheet name here and disconnect from Excel. So this way we will read the Excel file that is saved on desktop. Let's move on to the next question. Write a program to read MS access file using explicit pass through. So we have one MS access database file present on desktop name is average salary and we have created one table inside it that is salary. How do we read it? Let's see the answer. Proc SQL connect to Excel. This is similar to what we have done for Microsoft Excel explicit pass through. We can use it with MS Access. We can do this with MS Access also. So connect to Access, then the location of the file. Then select star from connection to access, select star from salary instead of sheet name. Here we have given the table name and then disconnect from access and quit. So this way we can read the Microsoft Access file using explicit pass through. OK, there is another way also if you want to use ODBC connection. OK, so that is something you need to first specify that ODBC connection that you go into control panel, then administrative tools there you will create ODBC profile for your access or Excel files, then you will go into SAS management console and there you need to specify the server for this and then you will use ODBC connection. I haven't covered this here because this is this is out of scope of this session, but if you need this, I can explain in some other videos, but this is specifically this is done by SAS administrator uh, do these things to create those connections and servers. As a programmer, we do not need to do this. Let's move on to the next question. What is SAS trace option? Let's read the answer first. Then we would understand why I have included this option. Here is the answer. SAS trace option is used to put messages in your log when you access external data from various data sources. It has various options example. OK, so I'll show the example, but I want to explain this little bit here that when we connect to external Tera data and we use access engine. So what happens in the background? What information is sent to the database and how these statements are converted to a specific external database understandable SQL query. If you want to see those information, we need to use the SAS trace option. So this is closely related to implicit and explicit pass through. That's why I have included this here. This is an advanced topic. So let's see the example. OK, so this is the same question where we were reading the Excel file from desktop and salary sheet we were reading. So here we haven't used the SAS trace option. But if you see the SAS log, it is pretty simple. OK, there is no information is provided how the pass through has worked, what a statement it has sent. So there is no information given. But if we use the SAS trace option, then what would be the log? Let's see in the next slide. So here this slide is full of information. So we'll start from here. So I am using option SAS trace then quotes comma 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 D. So D is saying that send all the information whatever you are sending to external database for all the information in the log. 
we use D. SAS trace LOC. So here we are specifying where should those statements should be visible. So here we are specifying that those statements should be visible or displayed into SAS log. Then we are specifying no ST suffix. This means that as we specify all the information using D, there may be a lot of information that may be not useful for us. So we want that information to be organized. So that's why we specify no ST suffix so that only the useful information is displayed in SAS log. Then the same data step statements uh, implicit pass through we are using then lib name and at the end option SAS trace off. So SAS trace option is a global option. So once we will specify it, it applies to the entire SAS session. So if we do not want some of the data steps to be by default use SAS trace option, we need to switch off this. So we can switch off this way. Okay, now if we see the log, you can see that there is additional information is showing here. JAT 0 prepared on connection. So it is telling about connection preparation. If we see JAT underscore 1, for this line, this is showing that executed prepared SQL statement on connection 0. So whatever connection it, this has executed on. So if there are two additional information is showing, there may be a lot of information, but no ST suffix has uh, limited that information to only useful information. But if you use this option with Teradata or Oracle, this will give you the more information because Excel is not a database actually. It is a electronic worksheet. So it has given the information based on this. So all the options I specified here, you can read those options. However, I already explained what is the meaning of these options. Let's move on to the next slide. So the answer six is continuous. This time I have changed the comma, comma, comma D option to S because I wanted to see the timing information. Okay, how much time that particular operation has take, how much time the row has taken or row has been extracted from SQL engine. So let's observe the log here. So you can see after using the S into the SAS trace, these additional information we can see that is timing information, summary statistics for MS Excel R. Total row fetch seconds were, so this time was taken to fetch all the rows. Total SQL execution seconds were this much. Then total SQL prepare seconds were this much time. SQL describe seconds were, so total seconds used by the MS Excel access engine were, so it's 0.1, it's very, very, very less time. So you can see this information is quite useful if you are using various techniques to identify or analyze which method would be used useful if you use your program would be effective optimized so you can analyze this while using a SAS trace option so if you imagine that we have a teradata table or db2 or oracle table that has millions of observations so you can find out various technique if you use then which technique is using how much time to fetch the data so SAS trace option is very very useful okay let's move on to the next okay guys so this topic is complete i hope this is clear to you if you have any questions please do mention into the comment section also provide the feedback what is good what is bad about the session so that i can improve in my upcoming videos so in next i would try to create videos based on SAS functions reading raw data or formats so you can let me know on what topic you want me to create video first so guys if you like my video then please like this and subscribe it or probably share this video to your friends if anyone is interested about SAS. so till then thank you so much bye and take care